हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू पीसीबी ई क्लासेस वेलकम बैक टू डीसी मशीन्स लेक्चर टू इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सम ऑफ द बेसिक रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ ईएमएफ इंडक्शन एंड सर्टेन ब्रीफ थिंग्स अबाउट द मैग्नेट्स लेट अस सी व्हाट द सब टॉपिक्स वी हैव कवर्ड टिल नाउ वी हैव कवर्ड अबाउट द Faraday's electromagnetic induction law, type of magnets, its behavior, um, how the magnet is created with the help of the field winding, and how the EMF induced in the conductor due to the rate of change of flux linked to the conductor, and so on. Certain things we have dealt. earlier i have said that in order to understand the working of dc machines we need to know certain principles and rules so let us move to the next one now in dc machines the dc machine can be a dc generator or dc motor that means the same machine can work as dc generator as well as dc motor which implies that the construction of dc motor as well as dc generator is same so first let us discuss about generator then we will come for the motor in case of dc generator it converts the mechanical energy into the electrical which means input given to the machine is mechanical that is the direction of force or motion or rotation of conductor is known to us and as the conductor rotates within the magnetic field the magnetic field direction is also known to us but after interaction of conductor and magnetic field due to the rate of change of flux linkage an emf or current is induced whose direction is unknown to us so for detecting the direction of induced emf or current in dc generators we use fleming's right hand rule what this fleming's right hand rule states it says that stretch your right hand three fingers that is thumb four finger and middle finger stretch and you have to stretch in such a way that it should be perpendicular to each other perpendicular you can see in the figure perpendicular to the each other the thumb indicates the motion or the force or the direction of the rotation of the conductors which is known to us four finger indicates the magnetic field direction that is the flux direction which is also known to us but we don't know the direction of the induced emf or current which the middle finger gives us the direction of induced emf or generated current which was unknown to us this is the help you are getting from the fleming's right hand rule by applying the fleming's right hand rule we can find out the induced emf or generated current direction similarly in motor the electrical energy is converted to the mechanical energy which means the direction of current flowing in the conductor is known to us as well as the direction of the magnetic field is also known to us but the direction of motion or force of conductor is unknown to us in which direction the motor will be rotating or the conductor will be rotating that is unknown to us which is given by fleming's left hand rule it is same as the fleming's right hand rule the same thing we have to stretch the three fingers thumb four finger middle finger in such a way that they they have mutually 90 degree to each other as shown in the figure the same thing but 
be careful for the motor we are applying fleming's left hand rule whereas the thumb indicates the motion or the force of the rotation of the conductor which is unknown to us which we are finding it out whereas the four finger represents the direction of the magnetic field as usual which is known to us and the middle finger indicates the direction of the current which is also known to us so the unknown part is the thumb here the thumb is unknown whereas in the fleming's right hand rule the middle finger was unknown here the thumb indicates the force of conductor or the, or the direction of the conductor whereas in case of the fleming's right hand rule the middle finger is unknown to us that is the direction of the current now moving to the next one that is right hand thumb rule what it says right hand thumb rule states that if the thumb of the right hand points along the direction of the current and then the remaining four curled fingers of the same hand gives the direction of the magnetic field due to the current we can see from the figure here here a conductor is there the blue one is a conductor and the current direction is indicated by the white arrow so along the current direction we have kept the thumb and other four curled finger gives the direction of the magnetic field that means the current direction is upward then the magnetic field direction is in the anti clockwise direction you can see on the right hand side a conductor is there where the direction of the current is given upward so we are applying right hand thumb rule in which the direction of the magnetic field is anti clockwise whereas on the other side it is given the current direction is downward that is the magnetic field direction is clockwise in nature now moving to the next one next one the rule which we have it is similar to the previous one that is a right hand rule right hand thumb rule the same thing it is given by the maxwell so it is said to be the right hand screw rule or the screw rule right so what it states now it states that uh, suppose the screw is taken screw is taken and the screw is uh, moving downward that means the downward direction is given for the current if it is moving in the downward then it has to be rotated in the clockwise direction that is the clockwise direction is given for the magnetic field and the entering of the screw is said to be the current direction that is if current enters in then the magnetic field or the flux will be in clockwise direction if the current leaves out then the magnetic field or flux will be in the anti clockwise direction it has been noted by some note notations that is inward current is given by the cross mark you can see the uh, cross mark and the magnetic field if it is the current is inward then the magnetic field direction will be in the clockwise direction so it gives a clockwise direction of the magnetic field similarly for the out it is given as a dot a circular with a dot and around the around it the magnetic field will be in the anti clockwise direction as per the right hand screw rule because this is known to everyone uh, how a north pole and south pole is created uh, across an uh, electromagnet so but certainly i'll say in briefly here we can see a iron core is taken over that some coils are there and in that the current direction is given so as per the current direction how can we detect which part whether it is left side or the right side of the electromagnet is set to the north pole or the south pole in physics we have read about it that uh, for a north pole the direction of the current is given as a anti clockwise direction on the left hand side that is on the left hand side you can see here 
if you'll observe from this side the current direction will be in the anti-clockwise direction which means it is the north side of the electromagnet whereas if you will observe from this side the current direction will be the anti-clockwise in nature so this will be the south pole of the electromagnet in other way by applying the uh, right hand thumb rule we can also get the notations which one is north pole and which one is south pole if i'll apply here right hand thumb rule then the flux direction will be outward in nature outward in nature where the flux will be outward in nature that side will be said as north pole if i'll apply flame, uh, right hand rule here then the flux direction will be inward in nature inward in nature that means the this side will be the south pole of the electromagnet this is what about the lecture number two the uh, remaining part we'll be discussing in the lecture number three thank you